Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another day of triathlon training. I hope you've had a good week so far. Today we're kicking off the day with a three and a half hour ride, so I shall quickly get changed and join you out on the road. So here we are then out on the bike. Three and a half hours on the plan this morning. I don't really have a route in mind, so just heading up the cycle path for now and we'll wing it as I go along. As you probably saw in the intro, for breakfast I had bacon and avocado on toast. Uh, the reason behind that is just trying to have a low carb breakfast to limit the uh, carb availability on this ride and try and uh, utilize fats and try and yeah promote better fat adapt adaptation from uh, some lab testing I've done where we looked into fuel utilization that was a weakness of mine so now we're in the new year just trying to periodize that a bit more so it just means that intensity control on this ride is really important just want to try and keep it zone two for the majority of the ride that just means when I hit a hill which uh, is fairly frequent here in Wales that I've just got to keep a lid on it but yeah three and a half hours got three hours and ten to go yeah. I think it was 3 hours 38 minutes, 97.6k, ah, good ride, I think Alfie wants to go out so we'll let him out shall we. <laughs> so I just thought I'd, uh, yeah take a minute to just say that I did fuel during the ride as well um, aim to take on about 30 to 40 grams of carbs an hour but first to try and take that on in liquid form throughout the winter just for ease of uh, yeah taking it on don't want to be faffing around trying to unwrap bars and things when you're cold and got fit gloves on anyway time for some lunch now Okay, so I've got a gym session to do this afternoon, but before we head to the gym, it's time for a quick coffee. It was actually my birthday last week, and Hannah very kindly got me a new coffee machine. So here it is, the Sage Barista Pro. It does make a very good coffee. session to do this afternoon so I'll head off shortly hopefully it's not too busy but it is Wednesday afternoon and the students are normally off so they're they'll be there pumping their iron so they can feel their tight shirts that they wear out to the clubs in the evening but um, yeah that's just what we've got to deal with anyone else got a weird dog that just lounges on the stairs like this <laughs> who do you think you are Alf hey Talking about you. Talking about you.
Right, back from the gym. So what did we do? Um, did some step ups, so just mostly lower limb work. So some step ups and single leg RDLs, uh, some single leg squats, then uh, some calf raises, a bit of like cable rotation things, um, working like your obliques, and yeah, a bit of core work. Do do some um, upper body work as well, but I've got a swim coming up and I sometimes find it quite fatiguing, so I think I'm gonna do the upper body work after my swim tomorrow, just spend like five, 10 minutes in the gym while I'm there already. Anyway, while I was away, had a package from Amazon, got nothing to do with triathlon, um, but it's what you do when you're a YouTuber, isn't it? Do unboxings of your deliveries. Oh, and it's a hard drive. We're just back from your walk, aren't we? Just been out walking Alfie. Um, didn't take the camera. It's getting pretty dark now. Anyway, one more session of the day to go, and that is a 90 minute club swim later this evening. Ah. Cheers, Alfie. What are you doing? Anyway, club swim later this evening. 90 minutes, short course set. Not sure what the session actually is, but we'll update you uh, later. Anyway, next few hours, just gonna grab some thing to eat now to make sure I've got plenty of fuel in the tank for the swim session, because they're normally pretty tough. And then, um, yeah, just chill out for a, a bit. Hey, do you want your dinner too, bud? Yeah? High five. Hey, good boy. <laughs> All right, then back home, swim done and dusted. And that concludes another day of triathlon training. A uh, quick round up of the swim. The 16 ones at the beginning were fine, just averaging 120 pace and other than like the last four that were off 120 and they were just sort of touch and go. Then the eight broken twos were pretty tough towards the end, just got through them really, didn't really have that top end speed today. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and if you don't already smash that subscribe button too to stay up to date with all future videos. Cool. Enjoy your weekend and I'll catch you next week. Bye for now.